How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is like my third time doing this video. Sound issues and then I didn't like the first video because I forgot to give props out to a certain person, certain company that was awesome during this whole poop saga. That is environmental control, Travis Fry. Here's his card. So he's only going to be there a little while longer, he said, but if if he represents the company, I would give the company a try because he was awesome. So I said I would uh, give him props because he was very professional, very communicative. He told us what they would recommend and it just comes down to property management company slash owners. Although I don't know how much the owners were actually told about any of this. So I blame the property management company. He recommended because Blackwater, this should be ripped up because the guy walked on it, human fecal matter, and who knows whose human fecal matter. It probably came from the shopping center washing down when he cleared the drain at the lowest point and it all came spewing out, touched the walls, went into the walls, and they said the walls were wet, and hence why they removed molding to test. And I think over here wet, over there wet, and then back into there, and I don't know how far into there, and I think over here. Um, I'm not sure in that corner because I had a few, I had like OxyClean container, and it seemed, the bottom of that seemed fine. Well, I still Lysoled it, but it seemed fine. Um, there was poop splatter up on the garbage can. I wiped that all down with Lysol. I don't know what the guy was in here doing, stomping around, doing what, touching things with his fingers. We talked about that. Environmental control, highly recommend. So that's my props to them for doing a great job. Unlike the plumbing company, I wish I knew who the plumbing company was because I would tell you their name. I'm not afraid to do that. <sighs> Property management company though, <sighs> very lacking in communicative skills, very lacking in knowing how to do invoices. We don't believe they're communicating to the owners what probably happened. They're probably just making the call and not letting the owners know, or if they did let the owners know, it's our belief, it was probably like, ah, eh, it was a slight backup, not a big deal. And then they made the call, like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't have to explore in those walls. Well, as you saw, the wall is that plastic material, so whatever's behind there is behind there. Now, if they would have come back and said, you know what, what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll cut six inches up there, six inches around, all the way around, explore those walls, spray a bunch of chemicals in there, and then we'll take a trim board, six inches, and look nicer than the rubber stuff, but that would make it easy. Boom, around. Probably cost 100 bucks. I don't know, could have just gave me the material or credit to our rent, and I, I could have done it, say, 300 bucks, you know? After they had a guy cut it and go in there and just hose that down with chemicals. So we have a peace of mind. I don't expect linoleum be, to be tore up. It's stuck to the ground. There shouldn't be anything under it because it's not floating. This floor, technically, it's floating. It's a floating floor. So there could be stuff under here. Now I get it. They don't want to try to replace this floor because it goes all the way out there. Um, but there's ways around that. I mean, you could easily be like, you know, would you guys mind if we cut it here and we just lay a tile down or something, you know, just a generic white or beige tile. Oh, okay. That's fine. You know, there's ways to get around it to make it fairly affordable to replace without trying to match this all the way through. And we would be very accommodating. But I'm even okay with this not being replaced if they would have come back and said, we're at least gonna explore these walls and we're gonna hose them down with chemicals. And then these ones, maybe we're gonna pour just stuff down along, let it seep, soak under, I don't know, bleach or an enzyme, whatever. And that way you should be good to go there. To me, that would have been the proper way to go about handling this. But instead, knowing that the, the shit mess that occurred the fingerprints on doors, the touching of stuff, and it looked like bare hand fingerprints, not gloves. 
So that guy was touching stuff. Then he came up here at the end, right up here, and he was like, uh, the prior management gal was here, I was sitting over there, and he asked for a pin. I didn't, I kind of thought about it in my mind. I had a pin, I'm thinking, hey, man, he was just messing with shit. Well, I didn't know he was back there probably physically touching shit. He took my pin, she signed, whatever they needed to sign for the paperwork, and the pen was handed back to me. Didn't think much other than like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I bet that was gross. Most people, you would be like, well, they probably at least wash their hands. Him? By the looks of it? Shit, he probably never showers. I mean, he was that bad. I kept telling Aaron later, yesterday when we were debating this, it was like, I should have videoed. I should have done a video so you could see this guy. And you'd be like, oh my God, is he like... He's on something, most likely weed, which I don't care. I'm okay if you do that. I, I really don't care. That, that's your own personal choice if it doesn't affect me. But when you're driving and you're coming out here, that affects people. I, got, I do have something with that. That's like drinking and driving and stuff. I do have a problem with that. And the property management gal, you would think she would have taken note of that, saw that, and was like, you know, um, anyways, we drafted an email to him, pretty harsh email. We're really upset. I can't be upset with the environmental guy. He did what he could because at the end, the property management company was paying him and that's all he can do. That's all he can do. How much do you all think they charge the owner of this complex? Let's say it's worth $3 million. How much do you think they charge the owners, because there's technically, I think, three per month. $10,000? $15,000? $8,000? What do you think they charge them? In fact, the squeegee guy's back. Well, that's cool. That's cool. They're squeegeeing the windows. I guess we're getting something. We never even knew they did that. I don't even know if they send an email out about that. That's another thing. Like, they don't really contact us. Or they'll say, oh, well, we tried to call, and Aaron, you didn't pick up, and they'll never try my number. They have my cell number. I've given it to them. They know I'm the one that's typically here. You would think they would call, but they don't. They don't. They don't even email. We have even got emails back from months ago asking questions. They never, the communication is horrible. I don't know why the owners have this property management company. I don't know why. Because they are horrible. They are just, I can't, I can't stress how bad they are. So anyways, I guess that's enough of this. At least, I guess at least my hard work got it clean. Environmental guy was impressed at my cleanup and he was like well what would you like me to do because you cleaned it really good i said well you know not your fault no one told us you weren't coming because of change of plans and we just had to get this open because we had a kid come in and they're kind of walking around families walking around you know hey, come on man it, it had to be clean i don't blame you but property management definitely didn't convey that this was going to be delayed they said it's going to come the next day no one ever told us until 3.30 that, oh, they're coming the following day. Shouldn't this have been your first priority in the morning? Even maybe stopping by saying, hey, how's it going? How's it look? Where are we at? Nope, nothing. Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. So I spent a lot of work in supplies and grossness cleaning that. I shouldn't have had to do that. All because there's a well-known issue that the sewer line is old and he replaced the owner told me that to me personally because they said well we need to do the sewer line because i said well how about the back lot because they're repaved the front how about the back lot and they said well that might be next year because we need to rip up that sewer line and fix that and um the back lot will be done at that time because we don't want to replace the back lot twice Makes perfect sense to me. Pretty logical. But that's an infrastructure issue. That should have probably been done now versus appearance issues like the, the back lot or the front lot. Yeah.
Maybe the front lot shouldn't have been done. But that's why I think they're selling the place. That's why I want to offer money for the place. Fire the property management company and handle that ourselves. Like the old owner used to do. The old owner handled a lot of this by themselves. And when they needed somebody, they, they contracted and hired somebody and got her done. How about like hiring monument plumbers? There's a whole list of local monument plumbers versus somebody downtown Colorado Springs that had to drive 40 minutes up here. Or I think it was more like an hour. You know, I'm just saying, hire local people. That might be better. That's a better look. I could handle this. I could handle collecting checks and sending out invoices, transferring money, I'm guessing, into the owner's account or however that works. Hell, we can figure out how that works. It's not rocket science. Property management company is not doing anything that no one else could do. No, <laughs> that no one else could do for cheaper and better. Yeah. It's like, give us free rent here and we'll handle the property management. We'll handle contracting somebody. We'll handle repairs. When there's a time we need to come to you to be like, hey, this door needs replaced, we can put eyes on it and be like, the door really does need replaced. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. And here's the price that it's going to cost. We've already contacted three companies. Anyways, you all take care. Stay well. Stay safe, my friends. I got to answer that. Have a good one. Bye.